10 a.m. right? So hopefully everyone had a good Christmas. It was good. It was went past really fast, but uh, why am I, why am I mentioning Christmas now? It's long gone. It's like nearly mid January. I'm saying Christmas because I didn't get any war game and stuff for Christmas. I got vouchers. I didn't get any boxes to open. There was no box under the or no Christmas present box under the tree for little sponge on Christmas morning. But what I did get was two awesome vouchers for Element Games. And um, so I kept one voucher in case anything down the down the future line comes out like some new scav and stuff maybe for Shade Spire that we've all seen the trailers for that so they look awesome. So I kept one voucher for that and I kind of wanted to use another one for um you know just in case I wanted to get something, you know. It's always nice to get something new in the hobby to kind of get your hobby juices going back up with something new. So that's exactly what I did it now I oh, yeah. Of course I ordered it from Element Games. I ordered it I think Sunday and it arrived by Wednesday. It was incredibly quick from England to Ireland. And what did I get? I, there was a few things I was looking at. I was thinking about getting a new giant model uh, to convert up a few things. What else was I looking at? I was looking at Nagash. The big huge Nagash model. That would have taken up the two vouchers. So that was a... I didn't really need to get Nagash. I didn't want him that bad. He just looked super awesome. Uh, on the site when I was looking at it. Um, but I went to the Skaven page and I did eventually pick up some Skaven Storm Fiends. I keep calling them Warp Fiends, I don't know why. But Skaven Storm Fiends, these were basically the three big rat ogres all kitted out with all kinds of weaponry. Now these came out when the end times came out and so they've been out a while actually. What's the date on this? It doesn't really say. Um, and they're, they're, I've kind of skipped them because they were pretty expensive and I don't, I don't know, I wasn't really feeling them a whole lot when they first came out. Um, so, you know, like I bit the bullet, I got them uh, to add to the collection and to kind of, I couldn't use the voucher, you couldn't use uh, like half the voucher, you had to use all of it in one go. So I had a little bit left over, so what I bought was this Blood Bowl. Uh, ogre, Blood Bowl Ogre, yeah I thought he had a name but he didn't. This was like, I think he was like 10 euro or something, it was a really nice little uh, kind of cheap thing to add on. And I got this because I have the Reichland, I was going to say Reichland Fleshhead, Reichland Reavers Blood Bowl team. I still haven't to paint up and do and everything, so this will be an awesome little addition for that. So, I was going to do an unboxing for these, but if I, unfortunately... I've already done it. I've already took them all off the sprue. I've already met them. So, simply because I was just, I was bored one day. Well, not one day. It was kind of around night time. So, I took the boxes uh, in from the shed. And I was sitting in the kitchen. We were watching telly with the missus and everything. So, I just built them as we were watching stuff. But, um, let's have a look at the models. Let's see what they look like. I'm going to do a size comparison because these rat ogres are way bigger than I thought they were going to be. Uh, the Rat Ogre, or not the Rat Ogre, holy moly. The Blood Bowl Ogre, he's awesome. He's really easy to put together. Um, he's not as big as I thought he was going to be, but he's still pretty big compared to a human. It's just the Rat Ogres, are, these new ones are so huge. So uh, let's switch down to the desk. Let's have a look at the model and a few size comparisons. And my thoughts on him as well. Alright, so first up we have the Storm Fiends. Now this box is really... There's a lot of bits in it, there's a lot of parts in it. Uh, it took me a good while to put the three of these together. A lot of uh, cleaning the sprue bits off and everything. But there's a lot of parts in it, but once they're together they are really nice looking. And these guys are absolutely massive. Um, now one of the things I was hoping to get left over in this box was one of the spare heads because for my clan action project my rat ogre doesn't have a head and unfortunately there is no heads left over there's a lot of kind of weaponry left over in the box um, but that's kind of it for that and it's you know I thought it's it's not a disappointment you can't be disappointed with kind of bits been left over or not being left over um, but I thought I would have I've got at least one spare head um, but anyway let's move on let's have a look at the first guy here now to have there's six different loadouts you can give for these guys. I wasn't really pushed on, you know, what they do or anything. As long as they look nice, 
Um, so this guy, I had the choice of the Doom Flare Gauntlets or let me see what was the other option for this guy. Doom Flare Gauntlets or Shock Gauntlets, and I went with the Doom Flare Gauntlets, which are these kind of big balls of spikes on them. I'm not really too sure how they're meant to work. Um, now this guy is obviously heavily armored. You can see the big chest plate on him here which is a bit unfortunate because underneath this chest plate it's not like flat plastic he has like like a proper body like this guy like a six pack and he's all muscly and everything so it's a bit of a kind of a shame to kind of cover it over but they're very kind of uh, weaponized rat augers you can see all the metal parts in them uh, so much things going on you have like kind of the twirling blades on the top uh, on the side of the arms, you have like a little spiky bit here and on the chest. You know, there's a lot going on in this model. It's very detailed. Now, if you move on to the back, which is one of the most awesome things I've ever seen, is you get to see this little... No, I don't know the lore for Storm Fiends, but I imagine that this little guy on the back here is what's kind of... I don't know, in charge. Um... Uh, but I need to look up a little bit more about Storm Fiends, but it's kind of weird and freaky at the same time. I mean, look at this little kind of brain, brain scaven guy in the back. Um, as well, they have all the tubes coming out more, kind of uh, pumps and all that thing, kind of thing. The tails are a little bit flimsy, not flimsy, they're not flimsy, not going to break it, but they stick out a good bit. And I'm always afraid I'm going to snap off this end piece, but... Uh, they're really well built once they're glued together. Some parts can be a little bit fiddly. This guy here in the back can be a little bit fiddly. Obviously, all these little small parts as well. But uh, yeah, this that's, that is the Doom Flare guy. I want to make sure I get all these names right. Now, this guy. This guy, I didn't even notice this until I put them together. You got the choice with the wind launchers. Or let me see if I can find a proper other one for him. Warp fire projectors, that's it. Um, which is obviously these big guns in his hands. And my favorite thing about these is I didn't even notice it. Uh, like they shoot out these kind of balls here and they're already loaded in, ready to get shot out and everything. I think that's absolutely awesome. I think it's really cool. Again, you have more, not as much uh, armor on this guy, but you have these kind of pumps on his back and everything. And you have these kind of uh, valves and levers and everything here to kind of fill out the detail. Really awesome looking. Now I wasn't sure if there if there was a little kind of scaven brain guy on the back of all these because in any of the pictures it only shows the back of one of them, but they are on all of them, uh, which is really cool. Um, you have all the kind of pipes coming up uh, to power up the guns and everything from this kind of power source pump here in the back. Um, again, this guy is really cool. All of them have like kind of a little small piece of scenery. Well, not all of them. Two of them have. Uh, they kind of have their foot resting on. This guy is just resting on a rock. I think this guy. Yeah, this guy as well has a mechanic. A mechanic uh, foot, which you can see there. Kind of just about. You can see it a bit better from that angle. So I can get the light at it. Which is a really nice little detail to add in as well. This guy has his foot on kind of like a little piece of scenery. Kind of looks like an elfish. Maybe piece of scenery that is leaning on there. And then finally we move on to my favourite guy. Which is this guy with two rattling cannons. Now he did originally, well he is originally meant to have three rattling cannons. Uh, two for hands and one in the centre. But I, I, out of all the things Games Workshop has done... The rattling cannon in the center of his chest looked absolutely ridiculous. Um, the other choice was the grinder fists, which is two big lumps of warp stone by the looks of it, uh, which is this one. Now, the rattling cannons are meant to look like this. Is that they have two in the hands and one in the chest. I, I, I can't do it. It's so ridiculous. So what I did was I took the center piece from this version um, to put onto him, which I think it's a little bit bigger than I thought it was going to be. It sticks out a bit too much. It's very close to touching the rattling cannon. So it's it's okay. It's better than the other 
rattling cannon in the center again this one is full of wires this one was a little bit harder to put together i think it was this one maybe it was one of the other ones but these wires all pretty much fit in pretty handily except for i think it was this guy yeah this guy because the wire parts are pretty much nearly flat where they have to fit in that one there right at the edge you might be able to see it is a little tiny bit out but it's the best i could hold it um, this one, this guy is full of bloody wires, and he's actually, believe it or not, he's actually missing a wire, one that goes from here into here, which I lost, and I can't find it. Um, so if you include the tail, there's like one, two, three, four, five wires coming out of him, uh, which is a little bit much. Again, he has the little Skaven brain guy in the back. I really wish they had given us a spare one of these. Could have had so much fun doing something with this. Some weird Skaven cult. Which would have been awesome. Uh, but I think this guy is my favourite. Simply because of the rattling cannons. I love the rattling cannons. And his head. His head is so small compared to the rest of his body. But he looks awesome. Um, all these look awesome. I'm a really big fan of these uh, Skaven Storm Fiends. Um, I kind of wish I had a bottom earlier now that I'm looking at him. But um, I've said a few times that these are absolutely massive. And they are because. Let's take this guy for example. Uh, this is the size of an armor rat auger from the old Island of Blood kit. And this is your average uh, clan rat, that's what it was. Um, so I'm just going to put this guy next to him. He absolutely monstrous. He, he, I can't even think of the words. What am I thinking of? He towers over him. That's what it is. I mean... They're huge. I'm trying to think. Do I have a model that's maybe... No, I don't. Maybe. Let me have a look. Let's see what... What uh, Bone Ripper looks like. So, obviously, Bone Ripper is way bigger. But if Bone Ripper is the biggest guy... Well, then the Storm Fiend isn't too far behind him. You know? And then again, you have the smaller Rat Ogre. So, they are huge in size... Which is, which I really like. Unfortunately, one thing that I didn't notice until the box arrived and I opened it, that they come on square bases. So, like, these were just, these were released just before Age of Sigmar. They were released right at the end times. So, I'm going to have to source out some round bases for these guys as well. So, um, that's the Storm Fiends. Really big fan. I don't know when I'm going to get around to painting them. Uh, hopefully sooner than later. Um, it's going to take a lot to paint these guys. There's so much detail. Um, there's so much stuff going on. There's a lot of wires to try and avoid when painting and all that. So, God only knows when I get a chance to uh, get around to painting them. And then, finally, we have the big ogre himself. For the Reichland... Oh, was was a Reichland flesh yet again. For the Reichland Reavers. Now, I was a big fan of this guy when he first came out. His head is a little bit weird. You know, a kind of big, kind of fat nose, maybe. But I really like him. Let me fix the zoom on this a little bit. We get a proper look at this big guy. Actually, do you know what I'm going to do? Give me one second. Let me put him in the paint and handle. Maybe get a proper look at him then. Move everything over here. Let me get these lights fixed. Yeah, I think you get a proper look at him here now. This guy, it's he's incredibly cheap. Element Games, I got him for like 10 euro or something. Which is awesome. Uh, again, he's, he's, he's there's a lot of detail on him, but it's not as near as much as the Storm Fiends. I'm wanting the camera to focus on the bottle, not on my hand. Um... Not as much details as the Storm Fiends, but uh, very nice addition to Blood Bowl, to any uh, human Blood Bowl team. Uh, he's pretty big, I know, compared to a human. Well, the Skaven clan rat is about a little bit smaller than a human, so he's pretty much hulking over him. Um, and I, I'm definitely going to paint these in the Reichland Reavers colours. I think the blue looks awesome. Uh, the box is very... Handy, there's no instructions, instructions are on the back. 
Um, I think I'll probably get around painting this guy before I get around to painting the Storm Fiends. Just because I've been wanting to do that Reichland Reavers team for a while. And uh, I'm looking forward to painting this guy. I'm really itching to paint him now, the more I look at him. Uh, he went together really easily, unlike the Storm Fiends. Storm Fiends went together, like, okay. There was, like, a few little parts that were, like, a bit fidgety. And you had to try and figure out what way it fits in. But this guy went together really easily. And I was wondering why... The base was a slot base. The weird thing is he has like a little kind of tab here on the bottom of his foot. You can kind of see there and it fits in. But I had to put a bit of blue tack in just to get him to, to stay in without falling over. It kind of it loosely fits. Not too loose but it falls out after a while. So I like his pose. It's very awesome. When I paint them, I, I usually when I paint stuff, I just go with the straight up, uh, like clean look. But for this guy, I'm going to try and give him a bit of a roughed up look, like dirty the boots and everything. Uh, try not try not to make him look too clean. But um, that's it for this video. So I looked at my new Blood Bowl Ogre. Tree of the Storm Fiends, which I highly recommend because they are super, super awesome to look at. And once they're together, you don't realize how big they really are. But um, if you guys like this video, make sure to let me know. If you want to see me paint any of these, make sure to let me know in the comment section. I don't know which ones are going to be painting first. Most likely the Blood Bowl guy, um, because these are a bit intimidating. <laughs> and I don't know when I'm going to get around to them, honestly. But they're really cool. Maybe if I just do one at a time, because... There is an awful lot in these. These are so big. The more I look at them, I realize like these are so big. Yeah, they're awesome. But anyway, let me know if you guys like this video. Make sure to hit the like button, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.